burning and it's a couple feet of so it's like six feet of wall of fire coming at you steady. As it relates to the issue of climate change, uh, we are experiencing unprecedented confluence uh, of issues this year, unprecedented uh, record temperatures. This is what's happening around the world in fire prone countries, particularly places like California and Australia. Extreme weather driven by climate change is supercharging our fire problem. Well, looking at all the devastation just gives me a sense of foreboding because I know that's what Australia is heading for. Yes, I conclude climate change profoundly is impacted the reality that we're currently experiencing.
车了。I know people see, oh, 28 reported tornadoes in Iowa. It's Iowa. They get tornadoes, right? Not like that, not in July. That is four times their entire monthly average of July. Twister after twister, zeroing in on Iowa. Tornado is on the ground due east. At least 28 tornadoes tearing across fields, igniting power lines. Ooh. Oh, look at that. This was the scene in Lake City. Debris flying through the air, turning it into projectiles across the road. This home shredded. The roof peeled right off. A drone capturing the severity of all the damage. Tree limbs snapping, or in this case, catching this trailer. And a semi-truck bowled over. Inside, dozens of pigs. Thankfully, they were able to corral all of them quickly. Oh! And in Arizona, the long-awaited monsoon rains, coming down too fast and furious, sending cars floating down streets. Much of the Southwest suffering severe drought, now getting four to five inches of rain so quickly and under a flash flood watch. First responders in rescue mode plucking people from peril. This man and his daughter being helped stranded on the roof of the car in Tucson. And now, at least 68 large wildfires are burning an area the size of Delaware. In Oregon, the bootleg fire is now being called a mega fire. It's grown to an area nearly seven times the size of San Francisco. It's mostly in forested area, so the officials say it will likely burn until late fall.
Nine Greece capital Athens has sweltered as the third heat wave in a month sent the citizens to nearby beaches. The Acropolis briefly closed its gates to visitors during the hottest hours of the day. The temperatures have soared to 41 degrees Celsius in downtown Athens. Greece National Weather Service said the high temperatures will linger for another day. Shutters closed at the break of dawn to keep the heat out. In Valencia, by 9 in the morning, it's already 30 degrees Celsius. Even if the locals are used to this sizzling heat, that's not the case for tourists, who flock to the beaches to cool off early in the morning before it gets even hotter. We decided to get up early to enjoy the fresh air, do a bit of exercise. Et là, on va rentrer calmement. Il est plus intelligent de rentrer maintenant parce que le soleil, il est déjà bien haut. Et euh... On est arrivé à 9h. <laughs> Ça brûle la peau. In this part of southern Spain, authorities issued a red alert until 9 p.m. Temperatures have reached 43 degrees along the coast. First aid responders are on the front line, ready to step in if needs be. Sí, de justo hace un rato estábamos comentando de cómo la gente madruga tanto, cómo viene tan pronto a la playa, con el calor que hace, y dentro de unas horas va a ser peor. Pero eso, la gente tiene ganas de vacaciones, ganas de playa, quiere salir de casa. On Sunday night at 10 p.m., temperatures were still hovering around 30 degrees. Still hot, but more bearable than during the day. Locals and tourists alike make the most of the dip in temperatures to cool off in fountains. Nos aprovechamos durante el día para hacer bañito en la piscina durante el día. Y por la noche pues ya aprovechamos para salir fuera a la calle y pues disfrutar del fresquito. In the capital, Madrid, temperatures have already broken records for this time of year. Authorities have encouraged people to take as many precautions as possible until the heat wave finally subsides. A record-breaking heat wave scorching the Pacific Northwest where more than 20 million people are under an excessive heat warning. Today in Portland, Oregon, temperatures soared to 114 degrees. That breaks an all-time record set just yesterday. So hot there that schools, businesses, and outdoor pools were closed to try to keep people safe. Light rail and streetcars shut down. A similar story in Seattle, where for the first time ever, thermometers hit triple digits for three days in a row. Schools and public transportation closed in some areas. It's particularly rough on Seattle residents because, according to the census, less than half of its households have air conditioning. Al Roker's tracking the heat for us. Al, where are we with this thing? Is it about over? Well, here's the deal, Shep. Along the coast, yes, in the Pacific Northwest. But inland, not so fast. And the Northeast is just getting wound up. Let's take a look, show you where we stand as this heat wave for both coasts. 24 million people under heat advisories, heat warnings out west here in the Northeast, a little more dense. So 43 million people under a smaller geographic region. But you can see uh, it is going to be toasty. Let's start out west. This is historic heat, as you've mentioned. And as you can see, tomorrow temperatures stay hot along, uh, as you get inland. But along the coast, we start to see a bit of a break. By Wednesday, Seattle will be 82, Portland 88, Eugene 85. But tomorrow, 116 in Pendleton, Spokane, 110, 109 on Wednesday, Missoula.
Missoula, Montana actually warms up to 102, and Boise, Idaho stays in triple digits both tomorrow and on into Wednesday. And then here in the Northeast, it's the heat and the humidity. Heat index is 100 to 105 from Cleveland to Bangor down to Washington, D.C. ship. Man, alive is a hot in New York City. And Al, a tropical storm now heading towards South Carolina. What can you tell us? That's right. This one, not a big deal, but still a rain producer. It's Danny, 45 mile per hour winds moving west northwest at 16 miles per hour. It won't be a prodigious rainmaker, but it will cause some gusty winds and some strong showers and then make its way into some more moisture as it gets into the Mississippi River Valley, causing some heavier rain ship. Al Roker, thank you. Australia is bracing for another case of, of low to intense heat wave. This after surviving intense heat wave and massive bushfire last month. Sheila Salem files this report. Parts of Australia are forecasted to enjoy soaring temperatures of up to 15 degrees Celsius above average this week. Experts predicted low to severe intensity heat wave conditions across parts of Western Australia, South Australia, Victoria and Tasmania over the next week. Senior forecaster Sarah Scully announced that two weather systems are contributing to the heat wave conditions. She added that parts of southeast Western Australia and southern South Australia, extending into western Victoria and western Tasmania, would endure the hottest temperature. The new heat wave warning comes after parts of southeast Australia was tormented by a sweeping heat wave that went above as high as 40 degrees Celsius last month. Last month's heat wave also threatened to cause bushfires. While a large blaze has been successfully contained in Adelaide, South Australia, after it burned through 2,500 hectares just a month ago, heat waves have been more frequent as Australia enters summer season, which has brought suffering to humans, animals, and land, as well as heat-associated illnesses. Reporting from Sydney, this is Shina Selim, SMN News, Australia. In other news, over a dozen of cities in Italy were on alert as heat waves continued to hit Europe. Sunshine Smith tells us more from Milan. Italian cities were set on alert as rise in temperature has been experienced in many parts in Europe. On Friday, temperatures reached around 40 degrees Celsius in many parts of the country, resulting 14 cities to be on alert. Some major northern cities such as Rome, Bologna, Florence, Turin, and Verona were to expect heat waves. According to Italian weather forecasters, the heat wave is coming from Africa. Sheltering under the trees, cooling down at public fountains, and having ice creams and other cold treats are being the escape from the heat wave of some tourists and local residents. The State Meteorological Agency, or AMET, said that climate change is increasing the frequency of heat waves, adding that the yearly number of days in heat wave states has been times two since the 1980s. Portando Villanueva Notizia, sono Sunshine Smith, SMNA News, Italia. 